Hey y'all, Tyler from Ozier Outdoors. Back out here where I was, pardon me, back out here where I was uh, last weekend. Uh, we're gonna do a couple more projects this weekend, shoot some more videos. Uh, I already posted one from last weekend. I'll post the other one that I did uh, while I was down here last weekend. Uh, beginning of next week, I'm gonna start trying to do one video a week at least. So post a video in the middle of this week, I'll post one next week, and then whatever I shoot this weekend will follow the weeks after that. <clears throat> Unless I get a whole bunch of stuff put together and then I might put out two in a week. Um, first thing we're going to do this morning, once I'm going to do breakfast, I'm not going to video that for y'all, but we're going to do breakfast and then we're going to build a smoker. Uh, the guy who owns the property has got some venison that he's going to do a barbecue with some friends on uh, Sunday that I got invited to go to. And I said, hey, let's do a smoker, put a smoker together real quick and we'll smoke some meat. Uh, earlier in the day before everybody gets here. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Actually, it's gonna be a tripod and then some type of cover or skin over it uh, and then a rack put into it to make our, our smoker. So we're gonna get that knocked out. And then, uh, like I said, either this afternoon or tomorrow morning, we'll start smoking some of that venison up. All right, y'all. <clears throat> so I took a little break, chilled out this afternoon or this morning. And now I'm working on this tripod for the smoker. So it's the same tripod I used last weekend when I was here to hold up my tarp. So all I did was put it back together. The only thing different is I used jute, jute twine this time. And I uh, went ahead and added the main cross braces. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start weaving in our grate to hold our meat in order to smoke it. And I'm gonna get that in the morning from uh, the guy who owns the property and we're gonna start smoking a couple pieces. But like I said, I already got this part of it done. So all I did was put the tripod back together, got it kind of situated on the fire where I wanted it and then put in the three main cross pieces. And now we're gonna start weaving in our grate. It's gonna hold everything. So what I did is in order to get these pieces here, these are not green, these three big ones are not, but these three shorter ones are. Uh, it doesn't have to be super green. Not everything has to be green when you're doing this. Um, it'll be better because you'll be able to use it more and more times. Um, but because I already had those three pieces for the tripod, I was like, I'm not going to cut three more pieces just to make the tripod. Uh, but I did cut green for the three braces and then what's going to be used for the grate. Uh, you want the green for the grates because you got to be able to bend it a little bit to get it woven in there. And that's going to be a little bit closer to the direct heat. What little bit of heat there is generated from your smoker. You don't want a lot of heat. You mostly just want smoke. So I'm going to... I took uh, the main part of the tree I cut to do the cross pieces, and then we have all this stuff sitting over here to the side that's all gonna get trimmed down to become our grate, and this is maple. All I'm doing now is get my measurements so I can take this and cut it all back at one time. And these little pieces that I'm going to take off, I am going to keep because we'll use those for some of the cross pieces, these thinner, smaller ones. Just enough for one more. So now we're gonna get this cut down into length. All right, so here's our grate, the beginning of it. So I just went down the line, measured it off. All right, y'all. So now all I'm doing is tying these cross pieces down. I'm just doing a uh, slip loop. So they start the same as I showed y'all with the bowl in the other day. Just running in, flip over, pull through. And that loop that we ran our tag through to make our bullion is now our slip loop. Cinching it down on the end. Kind of measuring these just with the width of my hand as far as how far apart they need to be. All right, so here's the finished product. Like I said, all I did was go through and do an X on them. 
and that's what it's going to look like from there. Now we're going to weave in our other material to make our grate basically to hold the meat that we're going to smoke. And then what I'm going to do is put another, I'll do another one up here at the top and I'll use, uh, I think I've got enough trapping wire that I can do one with it. I may do the, the framework with uh, wood and then do the grill part with, uh, with the trapping wire. That way we got two shelves. All right, so for the weaving portion of this, like I said earlier, you're gonna go over, under, over, under. We're gonna go over the first one, under the second one. that last one and we'll continue to do this the entire length so for your next one over you're gonna do the opposite you can go under the first one over the second one and follow that pattern so that they're opposite of what that first one was so I got a decent amount in that way now we're gonna go back and go the other way in between all these All right, y'all, so that's going to do it for the uh, smoker video. Uh, sorry I didn't get to talk about it once it was up and going. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, There's a couple people there. They didn't really want me on film, so I was trying not to be awkward or anything filming. Um, but basically, all it is the, the tripod we made down here at this camp. I hauled it up the hill to the other camp and just took a poncho or a poncho a parachute, the same as what we used for our shelter on the last video. Uh, same size. It's an eight-gore parachute and wraps it around. Put some logs on the bottom to weigh it down and then uh, just had it pulled on the side to where it would hook to the frame just on one of the pieces that were left on the frame itself from where we had put in the shelf uh, sorry i didn't film the second shelf all i did was all i ended up doing was taking uh, the inner core out of 550 and just running a real small because by the time we got all the meat uh, processed up into size we actually only needed another six or eight inches so you saw in the video all I did was take a 550 cord and run it back and forth, just big enough to cover the last little bit of meat we needed to get on there. And then we let it smoke for uh, about two hours. And uh, that's one of the reasons we cut it a little bit thinner than what I would normally do, is we wanted it to get done pretty quick because the group was supposed to be there uh, shortly after we got started. So it turned out really good. Uh, seasoning, we just did salt and pepper, and then we used some mesquite and uh, a little bit of hickory for the smoke. And it turned out really good, like I said. Uh, it was awesome. So thanks for hanging out with me while I got that one done. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Go try it yourself. It's a really easy project. It's really a lot of fun. And depending on how big of the meat you're going to do, uh, it's not going to take very long to smoke. Um, I've done big briskets on traditional smokers that take 16, 18 hours to do. Uh, something like that with, with thin strips, almost like jerky style, is not going to take very long. So it's not going to be a full day process. Uh, from start to finish, I probably could have knocked that entire project out, plus done all the smoking in probably four hours if that and that's not and that's going out and collecting all the material needed to build 
that tripod with that setup. I had some of the pieces left over from last time I was here that I used and the rest of the stuff I cut from around here close to the camp. Thanks for watching. Remember, there's always a storm coming. Keep your powder dry, your action knife sharp, and I'm on your back trail. We'll see y'all next time.